Hi everyone, I'm Irma and I know that building a website can become a pricey business adventure, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. So I'm here to show you that you can build a beautiful page for free using Visual Composer. While it might not have a sea of complex features, it has all the basics you need to create a beautiful site. All you have to do to start is download and activate the plugin. So I'll just leave a tutorial right up here that you can follow. When that's out of the way, we can move on to the fun part, building the page. So you know what you're in for. This is the page that we're going to create with free features of Visual Composer. So this is what I like to call the lemonade page for obvious reasons. So it has four sections, full height, just a simple page that explains everything you need to know about lemonade. And that's what we're going to build. So without further ado, let's get to the fun part and go to the editor. So first things first, to start building a page, you have to open your WordPress dashboard and let's add a new page with Visual Composer. So let's give it a name, that's Lemonade. And we can start. So if you haven't used Visual Composer before, the first thing to notice is this. These are the layouts, so you can choose a blank page and of course the theme default layout. I'm gonna go with a blank layout so we can just build out of nothing. So in here on the left, you see our navigation bar. I'll explain some of it along the way. But so, just so we remember, this is the first section of our layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a row. For start, you can add it here, or you can go to the element library. Let's add a row and that's added a row here and opened up the edit window for the row. What I want to do is make it stretched. This is the option to make the row stretched, but the content is still boxed. So it's not all the way to the both sides. And now let's make a yellow. So background color. So we've got our background color, that's gonna be this one. And as you remember, there's a logo. So we are going to add an image to this row. So to add new elements to a specific row, you can do it right here. Or of course, if you open the element library, you can just drag it to wherever you want to. So we're going to add the single image element and replace it with the logo. So the next thing you have to add is the image with the lemonade. So to do that, we're going to add yet another row right under it. We can do it right here, or actually we've got some quick options here. This will add a row, and this is how we open the edit window for it. And again, let's make it stretched and give it the exact same background color. As you can see, it's already saved here. And again, let's add a single image. This time we've got our lemonade here. All right, that looks good, but what I want to do, let's open the edit window for the image. First of all, let's change the alignment. And there's another thing that we can do. I want the lemonade to be higher up and overlap the previous row. There's a little trick that you can do here and that's in the design options. Let me stop here for a little bit to tell you more about the design options because that's a feature that you're gonna use a lot if you use Visual Composer. Basically what it is, we call it the onion controls and you can adjust the padding and the border and the margin of radius, obviously. If you want to learn more, about padding and margin and, and how are they different. I'm gonna leave a tutorial up here. We have a video about that. Okay, so what we can do here is give the image negative margin, like minus 100. And as you can see, that makes it overlap the previous content. And again, let's jump back into the row options. 
to give a little bit more space at the bottom. And we can do it here again at the design options. And let's give it, let's say 20 pixel padding here. Much better. All right, we are done with the first section. So we can move on to the second one. So we remember how it looked. That's this one with the cute lemon graphic here. So what we have to do here is add yet another row. But there's going to be some differences here. Let's open the edit window, stretch it again, and we want it to be full height. So simple to do, just toggle here. All right, the next thing, not tricky, but a trick you, you might want to use. So just a reminder, this is how it's going to look, but I want this middle text to be quite narrow. And how I can achieve that is choose this sort of row layout. Okay, now let's move on to the background. This time I don't want it to be a color, but an image background. That's simple to do, simply choose the image. That's that. So what we're going to do now is add text to the middle column here. That can be done through the text block element. And as you can see, that opens a basic text editor with plenty of options to, cho to choose from. So let me just copy this text and add it to our page here. All right, so that's already a heading. But what I want to do is I want to change the font to the same one that we have there. That's this one, my favorite, by the way. <laughs> and let's change the alignment here in the center. Okay, and what I also want to do is make the text a little lighter. All right, so far so good. And just so you know, you can change uh, how big the columns are simply by dragging this. That's one of the ways. And now let's add the pretty lemon graphic. You can simply click the plus sign here, single image again. Let's replace it with this. Okay. So let's align it in the middle, simply here. All right. As you can see now, it doesn't look that good full height. So let's give some space here at the top. We can do that here in the row edit window. And let's give it a padding of, let's say 50. And let's increase the space right here between the image and the text. So let's open the edit window for the single image and let's give that a padding of 50 as well. All right, that looks much better. And um, I think we're done here with the second section. Let's move on to the third one. So a reminder, this is how it looks, a testimonial of the beautiful lemonade. Okay, so same thing all over again. Let's create a new row, stretch it, make it full height, and uh, let's give it the same beautiful yellow background color. As you remember, there was a text on one side, an image on the other. So here in the row layout options, I'll make it two equal columns at the moment. So let's start by adding the image here on the left. Same as before, just add the element and replace the image. And here we go. Next is the testimonial part. So we'll start by adding this text here. Let's add a text block. I'm going to copy this. And paste it in the editor. Beautiful. But of course, let's adjust the colors as well. Oh, I'm going to show you a little trick that we can do here. As you can see now, when the text color is dark, we can see it really well here in the editor. But if we change it to white, we can run into some issues. So 
in Visual Composer, here we have the dark mode toggle. Makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? Okay, let's move further. Again, let's change the fonts to the same one as before. Okay, and what I wanted to do here is change the color to like a lighter yellow. So we can do that here very easily. Okay, now that we're done with this, there's going to be a little tricky part here because what I want to do, as you remember, is I want to add an image here and then text next to it. So a trick we can do is add a new row inside of this one. So don't get scared. It's very simple and gonna help you out a lot. So here's a new row. As you can see, it changes up the layout a little bit. You can see there's a row, column, another row inside of it, and of course the column inside the row. So we're gonna split this row in two columns as well. And we're gonna add an image here. That's going to be our Thomas, the happy lemonade user. <laughs> and then a text block element that has his name and occupation. Here we go, that's gonna be aligned here. I'm gonna make it white. Let's enable the dark mode here. Okay, and I don't know if you remember, this is how you can move columns and let's make it right next to the name and maybe make the line height smaller. Now that I see this, there are some things that we can do to make this prettier, obviously. First things first, let's add a little bit of padding to this text here five, maybe 10. Okay, and what I want to do now is make everything aligned in the middle in this first row that contains all of our elements. So there's a thing we can do here. First of all, open the row edit window and select this column equal height option. And then what we can do once the columns are equal heights, we can make the contents in the middle. So that looks much better already. All right, we can do even a little more. Let's give a little bit of a margin to this image, say 30. All right, and we're done with this. So last, definitely not least, we've got the recipe, the ingredients to our lemonade. So let's just move on with it. Add a row, same as before, open the edit window for our row, stretch it, full height, and again, this has a background image. So we're going to add it. So the next part is going to be a little tricky. So as you remember, this is how the section looks. We have four elements here to add. So we've got the text, three ingredients, and then another text below it. What we're going to do is create a uh, rather unusual <laughs> layout. We need five columns for it, so let's choose this layout. But when we, when we do that, it creates five equal columns here. So, cool thing about Visual Composer is that we can create custom row layouts. And what we're going to do here is edit this, and make the first column 100% and the last column 100%. As you can see, that created the layout that we need with one full width uh, column here, then three small ones and another one full width. That's exactly what we needed. So let's start, let's start adding some content. So we had a text block element here. So, same as before, let me just copy and paste it right here. Align it in the middle, change the font. Okay, and uh, 
let's move, let's move on to the other columns. So let's add the image here. I do remember we just had an image and a little text under it. So what was the order? We are starting with cold water. And then we add text block element under it. Cold water, three to four cups. If you don't know how to make lemonade, you'll know now. So again, let's change the font. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this a little bigger, say 18 pixels, and we're going to align it in the middle. Oh, same, same with the image, of course. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the rest of the two columns. So I'll just fast forward, but stay with me. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can move on to the last piece of content and that's the copyright information. So text block right here, all rights reserved by Lemonade. Copy that. Mm -hmm. I know how to paste things <laughs> and let's make this paragraph, align it in the center. And I want to make this light Pray. Okay, we've got all of our content added, but so let's give this text block a little bit of a padding here. And you know what? I think we're done. All we have to do is save and take a look what we have done here. So we can do that here, we can view page. And this is our freshly made lemonade. I think, you know, it's pretty good for what we've done and it was quick, but of course, this is a simple layout. If you want to make something more complex, actually the free version can help too. You can just check out the whole element library see what elements we've got here. There's actually also a template library, but at the moment I don't have any templates downloaded. You can do that here from the Visual Composer Hub, which is our free cloud marketplace where you can get some extra content. So here for the free version, you can check out all the free elements that you can get. You can download them and use them, of course, and there are also a couple of templates available. You can just check them out, download them, maybe get inspired of what you can see with the free with the free features. And of course, you can check out the premium content here as well. This was just one example of what you can do with Visual Composer. So don't be afraid to experiment, jump into the editor, that's where all the magic happens. And uh, of course, if you need more help, you can visit our help center you'll find tutorials about everything there. And I really hope to see some cool designs in the future from all of you guys. And of course, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.